So far, we've been talking about ways of conceptualizing multiple regression and the concept of controlling for various other factors. But notice we haven't really talked much about the math. In this short video, we'll briefly touch on how one actually would calculate the regression coefficients in multiple regression if you had to do it by hand. Now, I'm sure you'll be shocked, just shocked, to hear that it's not as easy as in simple regression. Remember, in simple regression, the standardized regression coefficient was just the correlation coefficient. But in previous videos, we saw that in multiple regression with only two predictors, it was considerably more messy. If we have an outcome y and two predictors x1 and x2, the formula for the standardized regression coefficient for x1 is the correlation between y and x1 minus the correlation between y and x2 times the correlation between x1 and x2, all of that divided by 1 minus the squared correlation between x1 and x2. The formula for the regression coefficient for x2 is similar. It's the correlation between the outcome and x2 minus the correlation between the outcome and x1 times the correlation between x1 and x2. All of that divided by 1 minus the squared correlation between x1 and x2. That's a lot messier with only two predictors. As you can imagine, if you stick with basic algebra, the math gets completely unwieldy very fast uh, with just a couple of additional predictors. There has to be a better way, and <laughs> there is, if we switch to linear or matrix algebra. In matrix terms, the formula for calculating regression coefficients is B equals X transpose X inverse X transpose Y. And that works whether you have one, two, or 20 predictors. What it does is it gives you a vector that contains a list of each of the regression coefficients, B0, B1, B2, and on and on and on. Now, I remember the, the first time I looked at this, uh, this equation and I was like, how in the heck did anyone ever come up with that? How did anyone ever look at that and think, oh yeah, this will do it. Well, in fact, the, the equation just naturally emerges elegantly in a, a truly beautiful geometric way. Now, a lot of statistics can be seen in geometric terms. If you take one of my live courses, you'll see me at times waving my arms at 90 degree angles when I say uncorrelated or orthogonal. And that's because the geometry is bouncing around inside of my head somewhere. Now, why B equals X transpose X inverse X transpose Y works <laughs> is beyond the scope of this video. But I do have another video available that shows why it works if you're interested. Again, you will almost certainly never actually need to, need to use it. But students will occasionally ask to see what the actual formula is for calculating our regression coefficients, okay? Now with that, let's wrap up this video, okay? Bye for now.